I want to give you a quick demonstration of how to construct a histogram in Excel. I'm starting with some quantitative data that I've organized into a frequency and relative frequency table, which you see at the top right of the screen. And I'm going to use the table to construct the histogram. First thing I'm going to do is highlight both the classes and the counts. I'm not going to highlight the labels nor the totals. Go to the Insert tab. I'm going to select a column, and the first option will suit me fine. So far, this looks more like a bar graph than a histogram. I'm going to change the layout. Delete the series label. And that's looking a little bit better. These were final exam points, and I'm using counts or frequencies. This was from my crispy cream. final exam experiment let's see I'm going to choose a different design I'm not real happy with this let's see how about we do this in red I'm going to change the format of this axis. I want to change the direction of the text. Instead of horizontal, let's make it vertical. It's going to be a little easier to read that way. Since this is a histogram, I need to get rid of the gap between the bars. So I'm going to click on one of the bars so that they're all highlighted, then right click to format the data series. Uh, remove the gap by adjusting the gap width down to zero. I'll close this. If I click off of the bars now, there's a faint outline. If I want to intensify that, I can format the data series. Go to border color, or actually border style, and just up the width of that a little bit. Change my background color by formatting the chart area. I'm going to add a solid fill. I can live with that. Of course, there are uh, lots of other options. I think I'm going to increase the font size here a little bit, make this easier to read. And I'm actually going to decrease the font size here. Let's see, make sure I have the right thing highlighted. And now I have a basic histogram created in Excel. I want to show you one more option. I want to show you one more option for organizing this data. How about we do a, a stem and leaf plot? I'm just going to move this over to the side, out of our way. We're not going to need the frequency table for that either. I'm just going to cut this, paste it over here. So for a stem and leaf plot, we need stems and leaves. The leaves are going to be the rightmost digit in each number, and the stem will be everything to the left. So if I remove the rightmost digit, for instance, for 60, I'll be separating the 0 from the 6. In 175, I'll be separating the 5 from the 17. So my stems are going to range from 6 
all the way up to 17. Once I start a pattern, Excel anticipates how I want to finish that, so I'll let Excel populate those automatically. So for each stem, I need to add a leaf. Before I do that, I'm going to put a bar that will separate the stems from the leaves. So I'll right click, format cells, choose a thick line. I only want that on the right hand side. And now let's start adding my leaves. For the stem six, I have these data values. So there are three zeros and then one, two, three, four, five, fives. So I'll do zero, 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 five, 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 five. I don't need that last comma, I don't guess. I'll expand this so that I have plenty of room for that. Make sure that this is left justified. Go ahead and do that for all of these so I don't have to change it every time. For the sevens, I need seven zeros. One, two, eleven fives. For the eights, I need five zeros, and one, two, three, three fives. In the nines, I have six zeros and four fives, and I'm going to be lazy and copy and paste and then just delete what I don't need. So I need six zeros. That should do it. And four fives. So I'll just delete a few of these off of here. For the tens, I have three zeros. Again, I'm making use of my copy and paste. In the 60s, uh, in the 60, 160s rather, I don't have any data. I'm just going to leave that blank. Uh, in the 170s, I've got two zeros. I'm sorry, three zeros and a five. Widen this to accommodate all my values. I want to be consistent in my background color. So there I have a stem and leaf plot in Excel. Let's see how the stem and leaf plot compares to the histogram. Notice that if you turn the histogram sort of on its side, it will look very similar to the stem and leaf plot. 